you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you! Howdy, partners, viewers, thanks for returning. Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Um, this is one of the events I missed while my first playthrough, or I didn't record, and it involves Sadie Adler, who in Chapter 3 really begins to become part of the gang. And this is called Further Questions of Female Suffrage. And let's get on with the fun. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down or you could be missing a hand. Lee. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coon and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. If you need anything, Mr. Pearson, maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. During the carriage ride, there is some further expose as to how CD's mindset is and how Arthur feels about the situation. And well, as you ride to the store, you're going to hear Sadie and what she says. So I'm going to just fast forward through it to get to the next part. Amen to that. Careful now. Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Good day to you. Hello there. You blind? How can I help you, miss? It's missus. So I need potatoes, carrots, onions, flour, oats. I just followed Sadie in to make sure she didn't cause any trouble. Arthur then goes to the post office, mails the letter, and then comes back to the carriage. Came out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. A 
think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Eat up. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh, what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Sweetie. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go! Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get that... Don't worry too much about getting back to CD right away. Strip the Lemoyne Raiders of anything they have, valuables, etc. And if you're looting, uh, do it wise because you see a witness coming, be casual. They'll ride by. And once they ride by, you can continue to loot the Raiders because. Well, they're just, yep, here's a witness. Just play it casual. He sees you looting from dead bodies on the road. Well, he might call in the police. And you don't want that. Like I said, take your time and raid. No, pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. 
Hey, you want me to drive? We show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Yeah. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go rib and piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of Bowles. Not a chance. Yep. yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice panties, by the way. And there you have it. A relatively peaceful mission. It was fun to do, and it was interesting. If you found it interesting, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week involving video games and a few shorts as well. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by.